Welcome to Medical Student Life in Japan, a podcast created by a teacher and a group of students at Nara Medical University. We are a small medical college in the Kansai region of Japan. This podcast has two great purposes. One is to share stories about being a medical student here in Japan, and also for our students to share fun ideas, opinions, and information about Japanese culture to people all over the world. Thanks a lot for listening. Hello from Nara, and welcome back to another episode of Medical Student Life in Japan. It is a beautiful autumn day here, nice and warm and sunny, as the students get ready for their fall school festival. I can hear their voices outside as they prepare, which will start tomorrow. In the meantime, we have a wonderful episode. Today, this is part one of a two part show, and we think you're really going to enjoy it. It's a little bit different from some of our previous episodes. It's something fun and related to Japanese culture. Well, what is that? Japanese snacks. The world of snacks is quite interesting over here in Japan, and in today's episode and next week's episode, we will d- take a deep dive into the world of convenience store snacks. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We hope you enjoy it. Thanks for listening as always. And don't forget, you can always、uh, contact us by sending us a voice message through Anchor or an email, which is usually on our site or in the show notes. We would love to hear from you. Thanks a lot. Okay, here we are back at Medical Student Life in Japan. Hello, Suguru and Koshiro. Hello. Hello. Hello, and guess what? We have a very fun episode today.、Uh, we're, we're putting away medical topics and medical school, and we've decided to talk about the crazy world of Japanese snacks. And there are many interesting snacks in Japan. And so today we're going to try a few of those snacks. Now we're, meet, we're meeting through Zoom, so we're going to do this a little virtually. Each of us、uh, has picked a snack, and we will describe it and taste it and、uh, let you know what we think. Hopefully, this will be、uh, fun for our listeners. Okay, so first, let's start with、uh, Suguru. What do you have today? I have Kit Kat. Kit Kat, okay. Kit Kat. Okay. Kit Kat is one of Japan's most popular sweets. Yeah, I will taste it. Okay, great. Can you hear me? I can hear you talking. Yeah. <laughs>、mm-hmm. The inside is made of wafers. Ah, okay.、Mm, kind of cookie.、Mm. And outside is coated with. Milk chocolate.、Mm. First, I eat, I, it is crunchy, and after that,、uh, the sweetness come, comes.、Mm. Mm. There is a space on the back of the package. Uh huh. Oh, really? White space, yeah.、Mm. Uh, where、uh, we can write a message of supporting someone. Really,、uh, yeah, in、oh. fact,、uh, it is customary in Japan for teachers to give them to students preparing for exams. Interesting, why is that? Uh, for example, uh, to this space,、mm. uh, you can do it,、mm. Mm. and but but can I ask you yeah, yeah. why why is this a popular thing to do? Like, how did this、uh, start? that Teachers would give a Kit Kat. Do you know do you know why that started?、Mm, no. <laughs> no, okay.、Know. Okay, no problem. No, but,、mm. uh, oh, that's interesting. The, yeah, on the exam days,、mm. teachers give students, and the students、uh, get、um, courage. Yeah.、Mm. Oh, that's cool. Um, oh. so, so you chose Kit Kat.、Uh, is this one of your favorites? Yeah,、mm. I really like it.、Uh, yeah, 
query. Um, uh, there are uh, 350 flavors. What did you uh, say? <laughs> 350 flavors. 350 <laughs> flavors? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but the corporation shows that. Uh, for wow. example, strawberry and mm. green tea and bitter chocolate and so on. Mm. Mm. In Japan, the most popular flavor is green tea. Interesting. That's yeah. cool. Um, yeah, we were just talking uh, before we started uh, recording, and I was telling Suguru that Kit Kat actually isn't, you know, it's not Japanese, it's from America, and he was surprised. And, um, <laughs> but I was saying, you know, since I've lived in Japan, there are many interesting flavors. I think the ones in America tend to be more the standard chocolate, but in Japan, there's a lot, including yeah, green tea and, and strawberry and many other flavors as well. What do you think is the strangest flavor? Strangest? Mm, that you've tried for Kit Kat. I eat um, original taste. Original or... flavor, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe that one's the best. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I'll say one last thing, because... Um, as you know, um, I live in a tea village. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. And um, the package of Kit Kats, the green tea flavored package, oh, has, yeah, a, yeah. has a picture on the back of the package. And that's a picture of my the town that I live in. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Wazuga. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> So great. Oh, great. Kit Kat's a great one. Yeah, I think everybody loves a Kit Kat. Kit, Kit Kat's are great. Okay, let's mm. move on to Koshiro. Yeah. Uh, before I introduce my Swiss, uh, I know why Kit Kat is popular for exam. Oh, good. So, yeah, I would like to introduce it. That would um, be great. Kit, yeah, Kit Kat can divide it into Kit and Cut. Okay. So word, Kit and Cut. Mm. And so if we translate it, uh, no, if we put into Japanese, it will be yeah. kitto katsu. And mm. it means definitely win in Japanese, uh, in uh, English. Yes, yes. So, okay. so it is used for exam. Great. Oh, that's interesting. So kitto means definitely. Yeah. Katsu, katsu is another word for victory yeah. or, win. or win, right? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So there's some there's some other meaning behind it so the the yeah. probably that's why they give it at the test so that you do you feel that you're gonna pass the test and do well yeah that's good I think okay i see now koshido did you ever get a kit kat from someone on the exam day uh yeah i okay, have so. oh, okay so it is really common though. okay good yeah. all right that's awesome let's move on to uh koshido's uh snack yes um, I would like to introduce three color dumpling. Three um, color dumpling. This is, okay. Yeah, this is very popular Japanese sweets. Mm. And yeah, so I will try it. Can I ask, what do you call it in Japanese? Uh, it is called Sanshoku Dango. San... In Japanese. Sanshoku Dango. Sanshoku Dango. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I will try it. All right. <laughs> um yeah yeah it is soft so mm. i think you can hear the yeah it's hard to hear the sound but that's okay mm. yeah and it is kind of rice cake oh, okay but it has a subtle sweetness so mm. it's very good mm. so like japanese sweets has a soft sweetness yeah so it's not mm. it's not too sweet so mm. i think i can eat a lot <laughs> yeah that's probably true so kit kit kat tends to be quite sweet maybe yeah. the da dango or as you said dumplings aren't aren't so sweet so yeah and there was three colors i saw there was what pink white yeah. and green yeah green is there any meaning behind the colors oh sorry i don't know <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know the meaning. Oh, okay. Yeah, but may, may, maybe there's no meaning. It just looks pretty if you put yeah, colors. But this is popular in spring because oh, yeah. in spring we do ohanami. Mm -hmm. uh, we see cherry blossoms and have some fruits under the right. tree. Right. So and and we eat sanshoku dango for sweets in the at that time. Oh, okay. So and so pink and white and green is kind of the color of cherry, cherry blossom. Ah, okay. So, Maybe that's I why. Think, yeah, I think it comes from that. Oh, Koshiro, you're so logical. Yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. Yeah, but I don't know <laughs> properly, so. Yeah, no, that's good. That's that, that makes sense to me. So how much does one package cost? Um, Money is about 100 yen. 100 yen? Yeah. And and usually how many do you get for 100? Uh, we get like three, one stick? Uh, three stick. Uh, three sticks. Okay. So yeah. these yeah, these dumplings come on a stick and they're like a yeah. round little ball and one stick would have three of them. So you get three sticks yeah. for about 100 yen? Yeah. Oh, so it's pretty reasonable. Yes. I and see. then Kit Kat is, is probably about the same price. Right, about a hundred mm -hmm. yen, Suguru? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. yeah so, and about Kit Kat's kind of small, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit small, so, oh. mm. so maybe Dango, Dango, you get more, more for your money. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So we've had Kit Kat. Now we've had a really traditional Japanese sweet, and then I picked something out from the convenience store. And this is uh, potato chips. Now, of course, potato chips are, are maybe popular everywhere, but after having lived in Japan for a long time, I've noticed Japan often has some unique, even strange uh, mm -hmm. flavors for potato chips, not just your standard flavors. So I picked out one from the, the convenience store and uh, we were just looking at it. It's uh, called Budo Sancho Aji. So grape, Budo is grape. Yeah. And then Sancho is a type of spice. Yeah. Mm. It's hard to describe Sancho, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's it, Sancho, Sancho, it's like a kind of pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, but it but it's a little unique flavor. And I, I noticed when I've had it before, it 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 kind of makes your tongue tingle. Mm. It's got a kind of a tingling sensation. Uh, so I'm going to try this one. Okay, so let me go ahead and open it up. Okay, so um, these particular chips are very crunchy, which is good for potato chips. I like crunchy potato chips. Um, I don't really taste grape. It says grape, but I didn't really taste grape. I do taste... The, the Sancho. It's oh. a bit spicy and um, not spicy like a hot sauce spicy, but uh, yeah, it's got a bit of a, a, a bit of a spice, like a peppery spice to it. it was, it's pretty good. Wait, wait, let me just, sorry, I got to try one more. Oh. very tasty but it i don't really taste grape so i don't know maybe it's that very subtle uh grape thing i know for what is budo sancho is oh okay uh, budo sancho is the uh, one of the sancho and oh, okay. it doesn't funny. mean grape i see so, yeah it yeah it has so mm. it's kind of grape yes okay the taste is sancho the spicy one that's why, yeah. yeah, we, yeah. When, we, when, when we first look at the package, we said it says Budo Sancho, so we all thought maybe grape. And okay, and a good coach, you know, thank you for being our researcher. Um, yeah, because yeah, it didn't taste like grape at all. So, um, okay, so that's a particular uh variety of Sancho of that Sancho. Yeah. Pepper. Okay, very good. All right, so uh, in today's uh, episode, we've tried three different kinds of snacks. 
Um, I've had Kit Kat before. Koshiro, I'm sure you've had it, as you said. Yeah. Uh, you received on the test. And then uh, Suguru, I'm sure you've had um, Dango before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I've had that before, too. That's quite, quite nice. Mm. And I'm sure you've both had potato chips before. Yeah. But maybe not this flavor. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So, so let's see. Uh, Suguru, which one do you think, based on today's... Uh, a meeting which do you think sounds the most interesting or most delicious <laughs> maybe uh sanshiku dango is the most delicious you think yeah, so but i'm interested mm. in your potato chips <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, i wish i could share it with you but it's difficult over zoom um yeah. koshiro what do you think what's your your opinion mm. yeah i haven't tried the taste of the potato chips so yeah yeah i want to eat the potato yeah. chips too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay that's good um yeah i would say we pick three great ones because kit kats are good i think everybody likes kit kat and then dango is a really good example of japanese kind of mm -hmm. traditional sweets yeah um and yeah it, it's a easy snack um everybody likes it and then of course potato chips are popular everywhere so again you, japan has some unique flavors so for our, our listeners, um, if you ever come to Japan, look forward to these uh, unique uh, snacks and especially these uh, unique flavors that you might not find in other places. So we're going to finish up here. Uh, good to see you guys. And uh, let's uh, finish up. See you next time. See you. See you.